So you have to file, um, use the um, registration notice and the employer that filed for that registration and file the H-1 through that employer. Once that H-1 gets approved and once you start working on that H-1, then you can always file a transfer to another employer. But in order to do, be cap exempt, you have to first apply for a H-1 and get it approved before you can change to a, and or file for a cap exempt um, H-1 because you've already been counted towards the cap. But you're not counted towards the cap until the H-1 actually gets approved. Okay. Hi, this is Rahul, from Law Offices of Prashanthi Reddy. I want to welcome you all to our upcoming webinar, scheduled on the 18th of July 2024, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, on Visa Bulletin, and its impact on green card and work visas. Use the link in the description to register now. Don't forget to subscribe to our videos if you like what you see. Also give us a thumbs up and share the video with your family and friends. Thank you.